In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your breasts sound amazing. And we're gonna turn this into this. And for this tutorial, we're gonna use Nexus as well as Session Horns Pro. You don't necessarily need Session Horns Pro, but I highly recommend that you find a library that has high quality horn sounds and brasses in there. And if I want to do this very boring, I would just pick one of the presets here and then just play the melody back and that sounds like this. It doesn't sound bad, but it's not very upfront, it's not aggressive, and it doesn't have that bright, poppy brass sound. So what we're actually gonna do, we're gonna stack these together using different layers, and they're all gonna do something slightly different. So we're using four different layers here. We have this upfront brass, then we have this Nexus trumpet, and we have a vintage brass, and we have these long accent notes. Now the first layer is probably the most important for these bright and upfront brasses. And for this one, we're gonna be using the Session Horns performance patch. And really important, you're gonna pick the upfront preset because that is gonna make it sound very bright. This is the processing behind it. And instead of using the regular mode where you can pick the articulation, we're gonna use the animator. Now, if I hold a note down, it's gonna play a phrase for me. And I don't necessarily need that, and that's why I'm just gonna play very short notes. And then it's gonna follow my melody. And the cool thing here is that it shortens the note automatically, because these bright sounds should be very short, and it does that automatically because of the phrasing, so I don't really have to look how the MIDI is gonna look like. Because for acoustic instruments, it's quite important how long the individual notes are, and it's gonna change how the melody sounds a lot. But in that case, every note is really short because of the articulator, and that's gonna sound like this then. For the next layer, I'm simply using this muted trumpet lead. Um, it has a lot of reverb on it and it sounds like this. And you can hear it has a really nice tone, that's why I'm using it as a layer. And as the third layer, I'm using these vintage horns here. Now they sound really different. And you can hear it has this dynamic rise. If I play it back, it's slowly getting louder. And that's gonna help us making all these long notes here a little bit more interesting. So if I play back the upfront brass, you can hear it's a short note, but now I'm adding the vintage press and now you can hear the long notes are getting sustained and have like a nice articulation. And the reason we're picking this layer is because it has a more warm sound than the upfront sound. So we're trying to find different layers that add to each other. We already had the bright and upfront sound. Now we're finding something to make it sound a little bit more full and warm. And finally, we got layer number four, which it's just a long note, very simple. And I put these underneath the long notes, so as you can see, it's only playing the long notes here, and it's supporting them slightly. And now we have all the groundwork done. So we picked some basic presets that sound great without any processing. We have the upfront bass here, we have the Nexus trumpet for a more tonal sound, then we have this vintage press, which makes it sound a little bit more warm, and then these accents supporting the long notes. And right now it sounds like this. So that already sounds way better than our first example here. So it's a nice breath sound, but now we want to really make it pop. Now for the processing, I'm using a transient designer and I'm bringing the attack all the way down. Now you don't necessarily have to do that, but it tames the sharp and harsh attack in the beginning a lot and it helps it sit better in the mix. Now I'm going to play that back without and with. So this is without and this is with. So you can hear it tames the attack and the beginning of the sound a little bit more. Next I'm adding CLA Unplugged and this is probably the most important effects in the chain and that really makes it pop in your face and you can see I'm pushing all these sliders to the maximum and now it sounds like this. Now you're really getting that bright poppy sound. But it also makes it a little bit harsh so I added some soothe here on the high frequencies which sounds like this. So you can hear it tames the harshness a little bit more and it's pretty hard here, it's on 10. And I'm also using an EQ, bringing down the high end a little bit more and the low end. And finally a little bit more of saturation on top which makes it sound a little bit more distorted. Now 
I forgot one very important part which I originally did in a separate project file. After you followed all the steps, you're going to render the horns to audio. Then you're going to duplicate the rendered version. For the first clip, you're going to pitch it up by 10 cents and then pan it all the way to the left. For the second clip, you're going to pitch it down by 10 cents and then pan it all the way to the right. Finally, add some sidechain on top and voila, you're done. And now let's put all of this together and it sounds like this. And with these tips, I'm sure you can make some killer brasses now. If you want to have this project file, you can actually find a link for in the description below to download it. So thanks for watching and we'll see each other in the next video.